Hello ladies and gentlemen, Self Portrait 14 here, and today I'm taking a bit of a departure from my usual Transformers toy reviews. And I'm gonna I decided, you know what, I'm gonna take a look at some other stuff that I have in my collection that I feel like showing off a bit. So today I'm gonna be starting off a series of my Dragon Ball Z hybrid action figures, which are this I guess collector's set of figures that are very articulated. So first off, I'm gonna show off the box here. You can see very very nice packaging. He comes standing in there with a display stand that you see him standing on there. He does have two extra sets of hands. Aside from the ones that he's got there, he's got the regular fists. These other hands, which are, I guess, fists with the uh, fingers out a bit. And then some nice little art. you got plenty of pictures of him posed in different stances and everything all around. A bunch of stuff I cannot read for the life of me. And another image of the figure itself. So I'll set that back over here. And you see him here on his display stand that he comes with. It's a pretty good display stand. Not great, but it's pretty good. You can take him off of there. And take a look at the figure himself. Now as you can see, he is very, very articulated. He just is ridiculously articulated. How It's insane how much articulation they put into these figures. So that you can pretty much get them posed into however you want. And he's a very nice figure. So there you have him. He is pretty small though. Just, I mean, I don't have him on hand, but for a size comparison, these are shorter than your typical Transformers Deluxe figures, since chances are that's what you know if you're watching my videos. But he is very nice looking. And there are a few things about them. You know, the arms come off pretty easily since they're not actually ball jointed. It's just kind of a little pin that goes in there, like so. Same with the other arm. It happens with a lot of these figures. They tend to fall apart pretty easy, but it's not too bad to put it back in there. This is, though, a figure that you're going to get if you're a collector and not if you're you know, buying this for your child. I wouldn't recommend this as a child's figure just simply because of the fact that you know, they come apart like that. You know, at least, it, actually, I didn't even notice that this has a little L in it. But, you know, that's the left arm, not the right. That's interesting. Pop that back in. There we go. But yeah, again, just very, very good articulation everywhere. Um, the detail is a little bit sparse on this guy, and I guess that's due to the fact that he is so articulated and he's small. But it's not too bad. He looks pretty good. Pretty decent head sculpt there. Um, I don't know how well that's focusing on him, but I think that's a little better. They're pretty good head sculpt. Pretty nice looking. As for standing, he stands pretty well on his own. So you can get him standing on his own, but I do like using the stand, which as you can see here is just basically just this. This will rotate, this will move up and down. That's about it. Very simple. Nothing too fancy going on about it. So that's about it. I mean, there's not really much else to show with this guy. So this has been self Portrait 14. Um, I hope you like this video. I have plenty of other, I have quite a few other of these figures sitting around, so I'm going to probably put them in front of the camera pretty soon. So you guys can check that out. Have a nice day.